There are a lot of things that Theta can do and show you. Let's go into Theta and create a case and show you some of the features in the audiogram and audiometer elements. This is the audiogram designer. Here you can create any audiogram that you want a learner to test quickly using these drop down selections. But I'm going to go over some of the extra settings that are on this page and on the audiometer page. We know that you can use the degree min and degree max to choose the better and worse hearing thresholds for each ear and you can change the configuration, type, and expected WRS score for each ear. Let's look at some of these buttons down here. Underneath Create Audiogram, you have Random Audiogram. If you check Random Audiogram and click Create, it will adjust the degree, type, and configuration to randomly create a new audiogram for you. If you wanted just a place to start, you can click through until you find an audiogram that looks interesting or test a particular skill that you like. The next setting down here is Split Audiogram. Sometimes it's easier to see the audiogram, especially with asymmetries and masking, if you overlay the two ears on top of each other. If you uncheck split audiogram, it will do exactly that. This is also useful for you to take pictures of an audiogram to include in PowerPoint and other professional presentations. If you hover over the image, you'll see a download plot picture camera icon, and if you click that button, it'll save a high resolution image of this audiogram to your computer so that you can put it in your presentation. If you check symmetrical, any changes made to one side will be applied to the other. This can save you some clicks when designing your audiogram so that I can make a normal to moderately severe sloping hearing loss in one ear and it will apply those same settings to the other ear. Auto WRS attempts to estimate the word recognition score that best matches the audiogram that you've designed. Sometimes your word recognition score won't align with your thresholds. So if you want to manually set your word recognition thresholds, you'll need to uncheck Auto WRS and then choose the, the WRS score that you want for that specific case in your design. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see several overlays that you can use and these are mostly for demonstration purposes as well. So we'll unsplit the audiogram so that we have the audiogram in one place and then you can use an overlay to put on the speech sounds audiogram. This is a useful tool for counseling where you can show which sounds are audible based on the thresholds and which sounds might be missed for the particular listener. It's not perfect but it gives you a place to start. You can also overlay the degrees of hearing loss, which is nice to include in an image in a presentation for you to talk about classifying the different degrees of hearing loss. When you save a case as a template, every single time a learner completes that case, they'll get a new version of the same profile in the audiogram. So every single student that creates this template case will have normal to moderately severe sloping sensory neural hearing loss, but student one might see this audiogram, student two might see this audiogram, and student three might see this audiogram. So the thresholds will slightly change, but they'll all have normal to moderately severe sloping sensory neural hearing loss. If you do the case as a fixed case, every single student will get the exact same thresholds. What you see on the screen will be expected and required for every single student. In practice mode, you can see the true thresholds as you go along your testing, and in exam mode, you can't. And I'll show you an example of that right now. So we'll go ahead and click begin to jump into a sample of this case. When you add audiometry to your case design, you design the audiogram in the audiogram designer, but the learner will complete the case in the audiometer element. Here they have a virtual two-channel audiometer where they can control everything that you would be able to on a regular audiometer. It's just a matter of learning the digital interface. We'll create another video that goes over all of the buttons in the console down here, but in this video I want to focus on this right-hand column like we did on the audiogram element. Here you'll see some familiar settings like split audiogram. So if you prefer to complete the testing with both ears on one audiogram, you can. In some cases, people prefer to test with the right and ears on separate audiograms, and so you have the option to do that as well. The masking tool and the masking plateau are just different ways to help you understand masking. They're great educational tools, and we have a whole video that introduces those tools that I recommend you check out. Here you can also see the speech sounds overlaid on the audiogram as you do your testing, and you can see the degrees of loss as well. In addition, we have a count the dots feature that puts the, the count the dots audiogram onto the screen so you can get an estimate of the articulation index. 
Finally, if you're in practice mode, you can show the true audiogram so that you can check the thresholds as you go. The true audiogram will show in opaque coloring, so if you save a threshold, it'll be in a darker color, so you can tell if you're right on threshold, or if maybe you need to refresh how to find those thresholds so that you can get the threshold right on the money. All right, so I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the different feature options that are available in the audiogram designer and the audiometer elements. Please let us know if there are other videos that we could make that would be really helpful for you as you get Theta going with your learners.